All right, welcome back. Today we're doing binary tree level order traversal. It is the first of the set of traversal algorithms that we'll be implementing. Uh, in this algorithm, we're only going to be implementing the iterative solution to it. This video is also based off of a previous video I did on the insertion algorithm for the binary tree. So if you haven't watched that video, go back to watch it, like it, and then come back to this one because uh, we'll be basing it off of that solution. And then, yeah, so binary tree, we already have it set up here, 8, 3, 10, 1, 6, 14, 4, 7, 13. So the, the level order traversal is goes like this. You want to uh, effectively, as you're going down a queue of items, you're going to grab the value, and then you're going to queue on each of the uh, items here. So it'll be 3, and then 10. And then you're pushing those values on, and then you're going down to the next level. Should be 1, 6, 14, right? Et cetera, et cetera. 4, 7, 13. So the value, the output we'd expect would be 8, 3, 10, 1, 6, 14, 4, 7, 13. And so the way that we'll be implementing this is actually with a structure here known as a VEC DQ, which is a double ended Q implemented with a global ring buffer. Uh, this is different than the VEC, which is typically used as a stack. The VEC DQ, you can use it to push items either on the front or on the back of it, uh, which is pretty handy. So let's get back to our code here. All right, so first thing I want to do is go ahead and create our function here. So, and I'm going to do the same thing I did on the iterative, which is short circuit to that function. Here we're just returning an empty vector. Okay, and we need something to store our results. Now we need our Q, the back DQ. And then it'll be of type box node. Right. Okay, so we have that. And then we're just going to grab our root as a reference. So remember that as ref function that we used for, that's going to convert it from an option, an at reference option to an option with a reference. And then we'll just say unwrap that. We know there's a value now. Push that first value on there. And then push that root on there. Okay. So we're going to do this while the, while the queue is not empty. Uh, the way that we want to do this is, right, so we're only going to iterate. We only want to iterate so long as we have the number of levels. So if you think about it, first time I push on this eight, there's going to be one item in the queue, right? The next time that I go, it'll be two items in the queue, right? And then when I pop off three, right, it'll be, it's going to want to push on one and then six, and we still haven't processed 10 yet. That's still on the queue. So at this point, there'll be three. So, but we don't want to process that. So, because um, we want to get in 14 at that point. So, what we'll do here is we'll say, or we'll say lin, or actually it'll be 4i and 0 u.lin, right? Let some node, right? We're going to pop from the front. Okay, so now that we have our node, which is of type, reference box. We're going to use this if let some ref syntax. Right. So if you remember in let's get the ref pattern. Let me show you here. Alright, so in the ref pattern here, I can specify a let ref equals a value, which is the same thing as that should be that. Right. You can also do it this way. You can assign a value 
and convert it into ref into right ref mute last so that's the intention of what we're doing and you can use it within uh let syntax sum syntax and the match patterns right and actually let me show you here on this website right so in the mat pattern matching got here match our Right, there's a let s ref mute. Is that mutable ref binding? So, shorthand for at and mute. All right, so looking back at this, let sum, go ahead and push our value on, and push the onto our view here. Do the same thing for the right. And push that onto the queue. Okay. And return our results. Now, technically, you don't need this inner loop here. Uh, but the reason why I kept it is specifically because when you um, want to determine the height of the function of the tree, you need to be able to iterate over only the items on that level, right? So as I iterate on the first time, which would be the root, you're gonna iterate zero to one, right? And in doing so, you'll have a left child and a right child. So in the next iteration, this length will be two, right? So it'll be, it'll pop out the first one. And then as soon as it does that, right? It'll do, it'll push whatever is left and a right of three. So after this uh, line of code here, right here, there will be three items in the queue. But I only want to iterate it twice. So I've done that here. So, uh, and you can see that here when we call height one. Right. Okay. Uh, we are going to need a test for this. So, works. And let's go ahead and show our window for that. Actually, what's our thing here? So that's four, tree to insert. Seven tree dot insert fourteen tree dot insert thirteen. Okay, and what are we expecting to happen? We want first level. It should be a vector of eight three ten one six fourteen four. I'm sorry, six fourteen four seven ah fifteen. Okay. That's what we would expect. And our tests show uh, that passes, right? And you can see here the height was four. I don't know if that's more clear here. So our height. Height is four. Right? Well, although that here we go. Height is four. Okay. So that is the level order traversal. Um, it also calculates the height of the tree. You can use this function for a number of problems on LeetCode. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, again, thanks for watching. Watch out for some other videos. Don't forget to like, subscribe. I will be following up this video with the other traversal algorithms. So we'll be implementing those as well. Again, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.